Well, I thought I'd talk to you today about a little bit of uh, work I've done in modifying my uh, Vortex Razor just to get the best out of it for digiscoping. Now, first of all, this is a Vortex Razor. It's the top of the range, 20 to 60 by 85, and it's an impressive piece of glass. I've had it for a bit over a year, and it is just fantastic. Secondly, I'm just using the phone scope, and that's scope of the SKOPE. I've just been using their standard cradle and I'll buy the attachment that fits over that 20 to 60 eyepiece. Now in this case I'm using an iPhone 6 and I got some good results using this but it just was a little bit frustrating to get it right. I tried the universal adapter and the issue you have is vignetting. Basically curves around the edges of your frame of your shot. Now with this adjustable eye relief here if you have it all the way in, it's not right. You have it all the way out, it's not right. You had to find that sweet spot. If you come out too far and put this on, this would just do that. Too far in, you had to zoom the phone or camera, or whatever you want to class it as, you had to zoom it in too much and you end up with such a more pixelated, digitalized image. So in the end, I realised that I was actually using this on 30 power more than anything. That was the best setting. So I did a little bit of homework and found that Vortex make a 30, 30 times, 30 power fixed wide angle eyepiece. The only issue is now that these aren't made just plain. In other words, you either buy them with a Milrad or an MOA uh, reticle. Anyway, I managed to track one down, so I'm just going to swap this over. Right, now the advantage for this is obviously it's, well, there's some disadvantages, you can't zoom, but in, in my opinion, I think 30 power is just about right for digiscoping. Now, the next part I made, uh, and I made this primarily to make it simple. The way this works is it's machined to slide over there, fit on firm, and so I've got the cover on that moment. Now I can still use the scope with this on. I don't have to take it off. I can get my eye up onto it. No problem whatsoever. Now this is where the advantage comes in. Still the same adapter, but this is machined to give it the perfect distance, perfect clearance to the lens. Simply a matter of pushing that on and that's ready to go. The only other issue that I've seen is sometimes when you put these phones in, this adapter may not be perfectly central to your camera. So what I found is you actually rotate that around to different spots and try it until you get the actual camera lens perfectly lined up. It's, and it is very, very finicky, I would say. Um, but once you get it right, just put a mark on the two. So if you ever take them apart, it's quite easy to put them back together. But this now has worked tremendously for me. And I find that uh, it's quick, it's fast. I don't, miss, I don't miss the zoom lens at all, to be honest with you. Um, but if you are going to use the zoom, yeah, it's just a matter of a little bit of fine tuning to find the best spot for that to get the correct distance when you push it all the way forward. And as well, you need it to sort of grip on there. There's probably heaps of other different mounts around, but I've found uh, this one is the simplest and they are very good as well plus you've got the option of the remote the uh, Bluetooth Wi-Fi remote so now I've, I'll show you some of the images that I've got off this uh, but that's basically what I've done to simplify digiscoping and improve it so I hope it helps you